Hello guys, how's everybody out there doing today? It's your girl Laura. I'm coming to you with another video. So yesterday, I had a lot of people coming to me asking me, Laura, what did you, um, how do you get the chunks? So I said that I would do a tutorial and I made it clear and straight out. I used two boxes, packed it to the uh, capacity. I did use ties, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, I had to get some water. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I packed it to the capacity in my microwave. This is just two boxes of the Herf Club. So let's see how it came out. I believe we got some chunks. <clears throat> oh, I did not. Put it in a um, freezer. I just, after I packed it up, I set it out on the shelf that way. Okay, microwave instructions. I put it in a microwave, <clears throat> four minutes on each side. Then I did one minute on each side. See, I knew my bag had a hole in it. And then I did 30 seconds on each side. Right? Because a lot of times <clears throat> when you use two boxes, it do not. When you use two boxes, it do not um, get done all the way through. So that's why I did it for the extra amounts of time. So this is from yesterday. And see, when you're using a, a brown bag and you have to stuff it in the box, you get creases in there and everything. So yeah, it'll never just be a perfect brick when you got the bags like this. But. So, I didn't want extra hard chunks. I wanted crunchy chunks like this. Mmm. So guys, I hope um, you see the results. This was just straight two boxes. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I just get a lot of people like, how did you, how did you? So please be uh, sure to put up the thumbs, like, subscribe, share, and know that you will get some um, chunks. Can y'all see that? Okay, we're gonna try out some more. And I want it crispy warm. I put that in the community first. This is my, anyway, wait, wait. What I wanted to say is when you microwave them, it, they're still kind of warm. So this is the taste and texture that I was going for yesterday. Now you can put these in the freezer, like when your um, brick come to you, you could put them in the freezer 
and get colder, probably harder ones. But if you let this sit for like seven days, oh my God, they're gonna be they're gonna be super crunchy. Oh. I'm sorry, you guys. I did quench my craving. I just wanted just kind of a soft. I'm going to do a big one. I'm going to do a couple big ones. Get this one. Almost look like a pot chunk. <clears throat> I did satisfy my craving. I'm still not swallowing a whole lot or anything like that. I am just, I just wanted the texture. I wanted to taste. So here we go. And the texture <clears throat> did come out crispy. But not super hard. Mm. They do have well, they still have that warm temperature. I don't know, something about the microwave, keep them warm for a while. Mm. Um They are cooked. So all you have to do is watch the video before this one. I said this one looks like pretty much like a pot chunk. We just got all different types of shapes and sizes. And they're pretty solid.
this one that I really wanted to try. This one. The one that I showed y'all. I like a cut piece of little salmon. Okay, so you guys have a wonderful Saturday. It was nice seeing you all. Thank you for joining me, watching the tutorial before this one and this video. I hope you enjoyed the results. All right, you guys, see you later. Peace.